The tank catalog is a nice catalog if you create tanks, of course, but it also shows some advantages of IronCAD's smart e-behavior, where you can have intelligence added to your geometry to help you position, align, and also size and constrain your geometry. For example, let's go ahead and start out with a tank shell. And notice this works with design variations, giving you multiple options for a tank size. Let's go ahead and start with a 48. And we'll zoom out. And let's create another tank out here as well, in a different size, a little bit larger over here. We'll go ahead and create that at 96 over here. Okay, so we have two tanks that we're going to work with. And we'll see how these things automatically adjust in size for us. And notice these are sheet metal parts that can be unfolded and used for drawing. So this is a real geometry catalog. Next we'll go ahead and add a tank ring. And again it'll present you with the design variations where you can adjust some values for thicknesses, holes, and things like that. But if we just go ahead and hit OK you'll see that it automatically sizes for us and positions it automatically on our tanks. And no notice the other different size tank it will do the same. The tank lid works the same way if we drop it onto the ring we'll see we'll, again we're presented with some options that we can adjust but if we hit OK it'll go ahead and adjust and size our tank lid. Notice it automatically aligns our holes for us as well so if we wanted to put bolts or th fasteners through there we can do that as well and we can do tank bottoms and for example we can do a flat bottom on the smaller tank and maybe a cone bottom on our other again we can adjust sizes for the the holes in these tanks, tank bottoms, and also in the lids. We can adjust those hole sizes if we like. Next we can go ahead and adjust some other things on here or add some other things on here. For example some pipes. We can just drag and drop a pipe hole out here. In this case maybe we'll just make this one a 6.625. It's a little bit bigger on that hole. And we'll drop one on the other one and we'll just make it a bit smaller. Say a 4 inch on that one. Okay. These holes also have design variations on them as well. If you select down to the feature level, you can right click and get to the design variations to edit those. Same as if you were on the part level, you can get the design variations to edit those to adjust the, the values or edit the parameters inside of there. You can also adjust these holes position by using the try ball. And with the try ball, you can just hit the space bar and let's go ahead and center this guy into the, the center of our object. And we can just lock the axis and move it where we like. So we can move this hole to the left or right, for example, so we want it over here, maybe a little closer to the bottom. We're going to use all the power of the tri ball to position, size, and orient that hole to the, our desired location. And after, in this case, we can also add multiple holes out here if we like. On an object, you can have as many as you want. So maybe we'll add another one over here that's a, uh, another 4 inch over here for some other hole. Next you can drop your tank pipe and all you need to do is drop near the hole that you like to attach to. In this case with a size and you can adjust the length. For example, maybe we want this one to be a little bit longer. We'll make that 8. We'll drop this one over here and we'll leave it at 6. And you'll see that it'll automatically adjust in size for those. Notice where I drop closest to will drop that, that pipe. Notice if I drop over close to the other hole, it'll position it to that hole. Next we can drop other objects on here. For example, elbows. We can control the directions of these if we like. For example, in this one, we'll drop it. Maybe we want it to go the other way. We can turn the tri ball on, rotate it 180 degrees. Now it's moving in the opposite direction. But we can continue to drop our pipes out here. Just to quickly drop a few on here. And another elbow on here. Maybe we want this one to go out towards us. And we'll drop the other one. Maybe we want it to go down in this case. Okay, and last we'll drop one more pipe on here so that we can drop our flanges on the ends. Of course, the flanges, you can have two different types of flanges, but when you drop these on here, they will adjust and size automatically for you based on the pipe outer diameter. In, case, in this case, you can see this is a weld neck flange and that's more of a regular flange on that. Last, we want to add our legs and our base pads. If you can drag and drop these out, onto the tank itself. Again, you're presented with some variables. In this case, maybe we want six legs on this guy, and we'll go ahead and OK for that. And you'll see that it automatically sizes, positions, and orients for us. If we drop the same leg assembly onto the other one, we'll want three legs on this one. Hit OK. You can see that it'll adjust as well. And there's additional variables in here. So, for example, if we want to go in and adjust maybe the odometer for this, we want to have to be maybe a bit bigger, so maybe a six inch tubes on those. You can see that looks a bit better on that tank. And we can also adjust other things in there 
while you're looking at the design variations, you can change the leg cap angles. And so for example, we want that to be 45 degrees, we can adjust those angles. And this works on either one of these, these tanks. Last we want to drop is our base pads. You can select any one of the legs and drop this on here. Again, you can adjust some variables. Maybe we want to make this one a bit wider. These are 8 by 8 Let's go ahead and make them uh, 10 by 10 in this case. Hit OK. We can adjust that and notice it automatically patterned for us, so we don't need to pattern again. In this case, we can drop this one out here and we'll just leave it as an 8. And it'll adjust it again. We don't need to pattern that. And you can see these automatically positioned and sized for us. Okay. Now the nice thing about this smart uh, catalog that it has intelligence not only to to uh, position these things, it also built constraints and all these parameters as well. For example, if we want to move this tank, we can just select, select the base tank, use our tribal to move it, and notice everything adjusts with it. Okay. If you also go into your your tank, your starting tank, and actually change its size, so maybe we want to make this one a bit bigger, notice everything will update and adjust accordingly. Okay, in this case again, we would maybe want to change our leg quantity. In this case, we make it a six again to adjust that one. It'll be a little bit better. Maybe we'll make this in the bigger tank as well. So we'll make it a 126 tank. And you can see that everything all adjusts and updates accordingly for our changes. So a very handy tool uh, with this catalog, with the tank catalog, is a really good representation of the power of the smart e behaviors that you can use in IronCAD for any of your geometry. But this is a really good example. So if you do build tanks for your fabrication needs, this is a good catalog to start off with. And this is all manufacturable geometry that you can unfold it, take it into drawings, and get accurate uh, drawings off of this. Or you can use it in your own models to create the similar case.